Good morning, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's uh, midday uh, a market update for Friday, the uh, 30th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's start to take a uh, snapshot of Asia. Nikkei down almost 200 points. The Shanghai managed to uh, actually go into the green after a stronger Chinese data out uh, overnight. Uh, but that certainly doesn't negate the fact that we had the US markets absolutely butchered. Uh, the uh, Nasdaq down almost uh, 150 points at one time before it reversed. The S&P touching 2405 before it reversed. So one hell of a sell-off. Uh, Dow down almost 200 points as well. Even though we had stronger GDP numbers, and that certainly did, uh, into, well, certainly was being interpreted as being the, as being extremely hawkish in terms of uh, Miss Yellen, and she's certainly going ahead and obviously uh, justifying the potential uh, rate hike, and therefore equity sold off on mass. So we certainly hold on to that thesis. We hold on to that theory. Okay, given the fact that um, the, uh, even though uh, the Aussie Euro dollar and the Kiwi dollar failed to sell off, we certainly are going to hold on to that theory and that thesis and maintain the uh, stance going forward. So uh, again, a uh, hawkish uh, Fed certainly is interpreted as being bearish for the uh, equity markets, especially the US. Okay, so that's the status quo. Uh, let's see exactly uh, how where the markets are at present. In terms of economic numbers this morning, again, like I said, Chinese data is certainly stronger than expected. German retail sales came in, uh, came in almost double what they were expected. So again, bullish. Uh, French data, inflation data certainly coming in stronger. Consumer spending from France certainly coming in stronger as well. That's certainly helping the uh, the French CAC move higher today. Uh, German unemployment numbers certainly coming in stronger, or should we say higher than expected. Okay, so again, certainly putting some sort of uh, 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 pressure on the euro and the uh, German uh, economy as well to a large extent if unemployment numbers are certainly higher than expected. UK GDP coming in on the weaker side. Okay, especially in terms of business investment. So again, certainly uh, causing the, uh, the the GBP or the currency uh, sterling certainly to fall. Okay, for above which was above 1.3, and that certainly is helping the uh, the actual FTSE move off the uh, lows as well. CPI infl or inflation data out of the eurozone came in stronger than expected, and now we await the uh, US data. Looking forward to uh, uh, personal spending, corp, personal consumption. We have. Uh, Canadian data as well, GDP numbers coming out of Canada later as well. We'll see exactly how that fared too. We have Chicago BMI, consumer sentiment. So a lot of volatility expected in the uh, equity market. So certainly watch out for that. Okay, so that's where we stand. Let's look at the technical picture now. German DAX, uh, moving on to the daily chart first and foremost. You can see we certainly have bounced off that horizontal support zone. 60 minute chart at the moment certainly putting in a pivot low but it's a meagre bounce at that especially given the fact that we had bayer profit warning so it certainly is weighing on the german dax 10 minute chart okay so like i said a feeble bounce uh, thus far and we'll see exactly how the uh, the actual market closes at uh, the french gang certainly impressive bounce on the back of that strongest uh, consumer spending data certainly helping the French market move higher. Uh, daily chart certainly is showing you key support. So again, bouncing off there as well. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, FTSE 100 probably had the most stellar bounce out of the, uh, thus far. We had a pivot low of 7320 before reversing. We are into previous support equals resistance now. 60 minute chart certainly should retest in that breakout zone. Uh, daily chart at the moment bounced off that pivot low, putting in a bottom, bottom until we'll see whether or not it can sustain itself, okay? That's the status quo with regards to FTSE. Okay, in terms of Euro stocks. Last but not least, here we go. Okay, so Euro stocks certainly coming into resistance here. 60 minute chart as well, lower lows, lower highs. Uh, and uh, on the daily chart, it certainly seems like we, what we are attempting to close that gap. The gap being at 34.40, especially with a stronger Euro still over 1.14, stronger inflation numbers as well. Okay, so again, certainly will weigh on the uh, European equities, and it has thus far. As you can see, the German DAX down quite substantially. So watch out for further weakness. That's all I can say at present. Okay, so I think that's a good summation of European indices. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Goodbye.